Good morning, boys and girls. God bless you on this new morning. Well, you know, these days I haven't been eating my cereal for many days. I have been eating fried rice. I've been eating toast and also fried eggs as I cook at home now. That's why if you see Mr. Chang again, you might see my big tummy. <laughs> hmm. Besides having the food for our stomach, let's have some food from God. For Jesus said, "People do not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God." We've been learning how to pray through the Lord's Prayer. That is Jesus' gift for us, as He's showing us how to pray like Him, how to relate to the Father that He knows. This is Jesus' gift to His disciples, teaching them how to pray like Him, to be close to God. As we take a closer look at this prayer, you will notice we are asking God for six things, six petitions. As we pray to our Father in heaven, we are praying to Him. Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Did you notice our Lord's prayer can be divided into two parts, two halves, first three and the second three. For the first part of the prayer, Jesus uses the pronoun "your." It's all about God, your name, your kingdom, your will. And for the second part, he uses the pronoun "us." Give us today the daily bread. Forgive us. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us. Very often, when we pray, we begin with our needs. Please, Father. Help us, please, Father. Heal us, please. Give us this. Hmm. There's nothing really wrong about that. But when Jesus teaches us how to pray, He's saying, "Father, hallow Your name. Bring Your kingdom. Do Your will." You see, if we pray like this, we are putting God's concerns first. We're not living for ourselves. We live for God. This is a way we worship. As we pray like that. You will soon discover that God cares for us so much that He will address our needs. Our real need is actually seeing God's will be done. We'll take a look at those six petitions one by one later on. Five, actually, because we looked at temptations already. But as we learn how to pray, we're gonna receive this wonderful gift from Jesus. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Let us be thankful for God's wonderful gift. To think about the goodness of the Lord, He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just wanna lift my hands and say that. Everything I need and so much more. So I just wanna lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just wanna lift.
Have a wonderful day and enjoy your learning, boys and girls. Keep working hard as a great reader and writer. And don't forget to practice your spelling skills. Keep writing those words out and you will become a great spelling bee. All right, see you later, boys and girls.